Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. This is our lecture number 34. In this lecture, we will get a brief introduction about the RF flash analysis. Before starting the lecture, I have a small request for you. Please subscribe my channel, like and share my videos on your social media profiles. Now, before moving further in this lecture, we want to ask you a small question. The question is, what is the making peak factor of MV circuit breaker? You have to four options. You have to tell what is the making peak factor of a medium voltage circuit breaker. The four options are 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, and 4.5. You can comment your answer in the comment section, and I will find the right answer so that everyone knows what is the right answer. Now moving further to the lecture. What is electrical arc flash? First of all, we should know what is the electrical arc flash. An arc flash occurs when an electric current travels through the air due to inception, insulation, or isolation between the connectors. When an electric current passes from one conductor to another connector through the air, this is called the arc flash. I will show you a video in which you will get the idea what is the arc flash. This is the video you can see. This is called the arc flash. This is the arc flash rod. The electric current is passing through the IR. This is called the electrical arc flash. Now you have got the idea of about the arc flash. Electrical arc flash hazard. What are the hazards of this electrical arc flash? Arc flash have several hazards. Number one. Thermal burns. The extreme heat produced by an arc flash can cause several burners to the skin even at a considerable distance from the source. Blast pressure. The explosive force of an arc flash can create pressure waves causing injuries from flying debris, forceful impacts or even hearing damage. The arc flash produces a blast for explosive force. With this uh, explosive force, a pressure waves are created. These pressure waves are very dangerous. They can cause injuries. They can cause hearing damages. Arc radiation. The intense, the intense light and ultraviolet radiation is emitted during an arc flash can cause eye damage or temporary or permanent blindness. During the arc flash analysis, during the arc flash. Ultraviolet radiations are emitted or high intense light is, are, light is emitted. Due to this light, high intense light and ultraviolet radiations, there is a chance of permanent blindness or temporary blindness or even eye damage. Toxic smoke and fumes. Burning materials release toxic gases, fumes that can be harmful if inhaled, leading to respiratory issues. Electrical shock. There is always a risk of electric shock from the arc which can lead to cardiac arrest or other serious injuries. These are some pictures of skin burn due to arc flash. You can see what is the impact of this person and these are the other impacts on the safety uh, equipment PPE. This is the effect how arc flash is dangerous. Why to study arc flash? Now there is a question why we study the arc flash. Study of arc flash analysis is important because by studying the arc flash we can measure the potential of arc flash and implement effective safety measures to protect the workers from injuries and enhance the reliability of their electrical system. This proactive approach not only safeguards employees but also minimize costly downtime damage to equipment ultimately leading to a safer and more efficient work environment more efficient work environment that means arc flash analysis arc flash study analysis are important to know what is uh, to know measure the effect of arc flash and take the necessary measures to protect our workers from their injuries, from the effect of arc flash and also our electrical system from the effect of arc flash so that our workers will be safe and the, our equipment will be safe and we will minimize the cost of downtime and damage to the equipment. 
which ultimately leads to the reliability of the supply electrical system arc flash assessment method now how we measure the arc flash there are some assessment methods arc flash assessment methods are designed to evaluate the risk of a arc flash incident and determine the necessary safety measures to protect workers the arc flash assessment methods helps us to evaluate the risk of arc flash and determine the necessary safety measures to protect workers this method helps us to determine the appropriate level of protect personal protective equipment is required for the workers this also helps us to decide the level of personal protective equipment that is ppes for the workers standards of our flash analysis first standard is nfpa 70e2018 this is the national fire protection association has given a standard that is called nfpa 70e2018 which are related to the arc flash analysis another uh, standard is ieee standard 1584-2002 and uh, one more is ieee standard 1584-2018 which is recently released on 20th september 2018 arc flash boundaries now we have divided the arc flash area in some boundaries that is called the arc flash boundaries arc flash boundaries are designated areas around energized electrical equipment where an arc flash could cause serious injuries or death to a worker not wearing appropriate personal protective equipment these are the arc flash boundaries this is the source object this is the source equipment and this extreme outside boundary is called the arc flash boundary this is the minimum safe distance from exposed energy parts where a person could receive second degree burns it is calculated based on an incident energy of 1.2 calories per square centimeter a person should wear proper ppe another boundary is called this boundary which is somehow closer to the source object is the limited approach boundary this boundary is closer to the energized equipment and marks the distance that the unqualified person should not cross without proper ppe and training and third one which is very close to the source object is the restricted approach boundary this is the closest distance to the energized equipment that only a qualified person with a appropriate ppv and work permit scan approach these are the boundaries of arc flash in the next lecture we will go some definitions about the arc flash analysis like what is the incident energy and other things thank you